And on this Wednesday afternoon, our weather impact alert in effect for that intense heat. We do want you hydrating today, obviously, but please be careful as you do so in here in Orleans Parish. So our intense heat is going to be here the rest of the week. Wednesday through Friday is when we're going to be near our records, which are around 100 degrees. That's the actual thermometer air temperature. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Take those breaks and check in on the pets and the vulnerable. Taking the breaks is really crucial if you're working out in this. As soon as you start to feel faint, dizzy or nauseous, shut it down. Head inside or cool off, get some fluid in you. Already up to 94 at this hour in Kenner. Same thing in New Orleans and the CBD also at the lakefront. Look at Slidell though, 95, 96 in Bell Chase and Gulfport. Those are our two hottest spots at this hour and we're going to continue to climb. So the hottest part of the day, anywhere from two to four o'clock. That's likely when we hit that triple digit mark. Some will be even a little bit higher than that. Slidell has a higher chance of getting up to like 101 or 102 and then staying in the 90s. Even by nine o'clock, it's 91 so we don't cool off very quickly. I was just looking at our dew points again. They are lower this afternoon, so at least our 100 doesn't feel like 120, but still feels like 103 to 109 this afternoon, and that is a big improvement on what it could be if we had much higher humidity. Same exact story tomorrow and Friday. We'll be hovering around 100 degrees. We will likely be breaking some records here, especially tomorrow. I think that record is certainly in jeopardy, and yes, the weather impact alert days will continue for the next several. As long as we're near 100, we'll keep them going. We do see some very slight relief this weekend and by relief we get rid of the triple digits and we go back down into the mid 90s. Something else interesting. There's Debbie spinning away. It's going to help pull some dry air down. That's why we've got slightly less humid out there uh, air out there this afternoon, but a weak front's going to try to move into the region by Saturday and Sunday and what it's going to do is get here stall out, but may see a little dry air move in during the afternoon hours on Saturday and Sunday. So hopefully that happens. Those mid 90s will feel like the upper 90s and low 100. So that's what we're hoping happens. Don't get excited though. It is not going to bring any nice, comfortable fall feeling air uh, just yet. We're a couple months away from that. Debbie's still spinning away. It has basically stalled out. It's moving like four or five miles an hour has been strengthening too. winds are back up to 60 miles an hour. The core is running right over that center of the Gulf Stream, that warm fetch of water that runs up the East Coast here. You can see there it's starting to make that brief uh, short turn to the north. It'll make landfall likely between Charleston and Myrtle Beach later on tonight, moving up to the north here, taking it near New York City and Boston, but I don't think they're going to have major flooding there, just some isolated flooding. Elsewhere, we're watching this tropical wave. I'm feeling pretty good about it. It's going to be close enough to land. It likely does not develop and the ridge is going to send it west. So our heat ridge or our blocking high is going to protect us here. Deeper Hurricane Center not highlighting it yet, but this will be our next area we're watching. This is going to slowly move its way towards the islands here by early next week. So we got a long time to watch it. It's August. We track them all for you. We'll let you know if we should worry. But right now, the only thing we're worried about is the heat. Weather impact alerts. Today, tomorrow and Friday, those highs will be near 100. Not much rain in the forecast to help you out. You need those cooling showers. We're just not going to have them through Friday. A couple showers possible this weekend, but not much rain in the forecast there either as our temperatures get back into the mid 90s. If you're out on the water, we had a Gulf uh, small craft use caution until 9 a.m. That has since expired, so good news. And we'll have a relatively light chop out there for the next several days.